What's up, everyone? So welcome to the first ever episode of Art Class with Herm. I am Darren Meaden at the Seven Lines headquarters out on Long Island, and I am joined by the man himself, Andrew Herm Hermita, out in, where are you, Brooklyn? Yeah, the Bay Ridge, down in Brooklyn. Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And it's funny, Herm and I were just talking, so for the fans at home that don't know Herm, Herm has been, uh, Mr. Moody Met has been drawing Mr. Met uh, pretty re religiously for over a decade. And we actually met at this point about 10 years ago at City Field, where uh, my wife and I, at, my girlfriend at the time, we met Herm right before opening day. And he gave us a Mr. Moody Met pin, which we then put on our jerseys and my backpack. I still have that first one, actually. And then we became friends for, for about a decade now. So if you know the emoji Mr. Met uh, design on the Seven Lines website, Herm designed that. So why don't you tell the people at home a little bit more about yourself, Herm, before we get started here. Yeah, so uh, hello, everyone. My name's Herm. I am a Brooklyn-based illustrator and graphic journalist. So uh, a lot of the work and drawings that I do are, are uh, a lot revolve around sports mostly. I just like going to the baseball games, and then I draw different eras, uh, areas of the arena, who's there, things like that, and tell like a little fun story. It's like a souvenir for everybody. So I know in 2019 you went to every single Mets home game, right, and drew every game. Yeah, you know, I really a dream of mine was to go to every Mets home game since I was a kid. So when I spoke it over with my wife, I was like, there's got to be a reason for me to go rather than just drink beer and eat hot dogs all day. So in order to do that, I went and I drew every game. That's great. So if anyone wants to check it out, go to hermsturms.com, hermsturms.com. But why don't you tell the people a little bit about what we're going to be drawing today? I would love to. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. So today we are going to learn how to draw Mr. Met followed up by Mrs. Met. And then once we're all done drawing those up there, you can color them up when you get all home. There's some fun little crayons that we used that I used there. And what's really fun about coloring it when you're ready is you can like go crazy if you want the black uniform or the a cool orange uniform or really awesome pink uniform that hasn't been created yet. You could use that as well. So the one thing I would say that we're all going to need today is going to be a blank piece of paper. So you can use any type of paper will be fine. Computer paper is fine. You could use toilet paper. I'm sure plenty of people have enough of that now if you need. And then from there, we're just going to need some stuff to draw with. So you can draw with pretty much anything. So I have some colored pencils here, a Sharpie, some markers, crayons, pencils. You get the point, right? So there are no rules here. Our whole goal is to have fun, and we're going to learn how to draw some freehand circles, basically, because that's what it basically uses a lot of Mr. Met's body shape on there. So I'll give everyone a second to get ready there. But So I'll be talking to you from here, but you're going to be seeing what I'm going to be drawing right here. So for any point there, if I start to go a little too fast, I'll, I'll, I'll take breaks overall so everyone can catch up and kind of see what I'm doing. But if you are watching on a uh, one of the recorded feeds on it, feel free to pause that and go back and forth so you can hear my beautiful voice over and over again. Excellent. So you guys ready to draw? Darren, you good? You going to be drawing with us? I am. I'm going to be in the background here c controlling the camera angles here. But yeah, take it away, Herm. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. So let me just show you again real quick what we're going to start off with. So this is what we're going to be drawing today. So we'll start off with Mr. Met. So don't worry if it looks a little crazy, like, how am I going to draw that? No worries. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this whole thing. One of the ways that we're going to be drawing today is kind of breaking everything down into lines and different shape. So if you can kind of take a look right now, you can see a couple circles, right? Like there's one here, here, and some triangles and the stitches and stuff. So keep that in mind while we're drawing our Mr. Met today. All right, but enough of me talking. Let's get down to drawing. All right, so let's everybody, let's get what you want to draw with, your crayon, your marker. I'm going to use this brush pen here because I'm fancy and I really like this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw Mr. Met's hat. So I'm going to come right up on here. So I'm going to break it down into a couple of parts. 
so the first thing we're going to draw is the brim. That's the part of the hat that like covers your eyes from all the sun rays. So how am I going to do it? I'm just going to grab my pen here and I'm going to make this like a little wavy sign right there. Kind of like this right now. Maybe like a little snake rolling through the grass or something. So once you get that there, that's going to be the bottom part of our hat at the brim. So now I'm going to come under here, like kind of like right in the middle of that bend. And I'm going to twist it down just like that. So now we got this kind of like a weird shape right there. Cool. So again, don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. We're just having fun right now. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them both at the top here. So I just roll up there. And this, believe it or not, is the brim of our hat. That'll be what Mr. Metal had right there. Fun fact, it kind of looks like Daffy Duck's mouth or Donald Duck's mouth. So that's a little twofer for you if you get bored later on. All right, so now that we have the brim, let's build the top, the, the top part of the hat. So to do this, I'm basically going to make like a McDonald's archway. You know, that golden arch that everybody's so fond of. So how we do that, I'm going to kind of come like right in the middle of the bend at the top. And I'm going to make one part of that arch or like a bottom U. So just imagine this is where the, the New York Mets symbol would go, like right about there. All right. So now that we have this, let's build the bottom part. So I'm going to do the same exact thing, but I'm going to start down a little bit and a little smaller. Just like that right now. So we're almost there. We're starting to get a little bit of a hat if you can kind of see it right now. So at the top, see this little this little valley right here, this little hole, I'm going to connect it with a little loop, just like that. The reason we do that, I don't know if you've ever noticed on your ball caps, there's like that little cap on the top there, like that little orange piece. That's that piece right there. All right. You guys are doing good so far. Not too bad. We got our hats. All right, let's pull it all together. We're going to draw Mr. Met's head right now. So this is the most fun part, in my opinion. But again, it could also be a little a little unsettling, a little daunting, but don't worry. So we're going to draw a circle and we're going to freehand it. So if you want to grab a cup or, you know, maybe a bowl or something to do this perfect, you're more than welcome to. But I'm just going to do it freehand. So mine's going to look kind of like an oval a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, right at the edge of my brim. And I'm just going to turn. And we have a somewhat circle right there. Not too bad. It's fun. It's art. It's subjective. It can be whatever you want. So there we go. So I'll give everyone a second right there. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, but don't worry. We're having fun. Cool. All right. So now you can see we have our hat and our Mr. Methead. But we're going to come back to the face at the end because that's going to be the most fun part to draw. All right. So now that we got that, let's start with Mr. Met's body. So as you can see, the Mr. Mets that I like to draw, I like to make him a little plump. You know, he's eating all the tasty foods down there at City Field. So in order to get those that body shape, what we're going to do is we're going to make two little lines right about this area right here. So I bring that up because if you want to make Mr. Met plumper, you can just make your lines out farther. And if you want to make them skinnier, you can just bring him in a little bit closer like this. But I'm going to start right about in this area right here. So what I'm going to do is starting on the left here, put my pen down. I'm just going to bring down this like kind of bented body shape right there. There you go. So kind of like a parentheses, you know, if you're like writing a sentence or something. So once you got that right there, we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side of Mr. Mets head. All right. So this is what our drawing should look like right about now. I know right now you guys are probably like, her, what are you doing? This doesn't look like anything. Trust the process. We're almost there. Let's add a little bit more to make it more like Mr. Met, all right? So now what we'll do, we're going to draw his shoes. So shoes are actually a pretty interesting thing to draw. The way that I like to think about them, it's going to kind of look like a bean. You know, when like your mom or dad's making some beans for dinner or something, and they're, those, little, those little beans right there, they're kind of like rounded at both parts. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to start with this side over here. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to loop up. I'm going to loop up. Come down around. And then pop right there at the end. So we're going to kind of get this. It's almost, you know, a better way to describe it. I would say it's kind of like a heart. 
So you're making like a heart, but instead of like the, the pointed part at the bottom, we're just rounding it up right there. So you can see what I mean, that's gonna be our shoe. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side over here. There we go, Mr. Metz looking great. So you can see we got our two little bean hearts right there, looking good. So now in order to make it look a little bit more like a shoe, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the sole or the bottom part of the shoe just for measure. So I'll pop that right there. And again, just another little bended line at the bottom right there. So you can kind of see right there. It's funny, like this little line, I, in my opinion, it adds a little bit more. So it looks quite more like a shoe. All right, now that we got that, let's do the same thing on this shoe. Oh baby, look at those shoes. Those are cooler than those Air Force Ones everybody's waiting outside for. All right, that's one joke of many. Let's get used to them. Here we go. Now that we got our sole right there on our shoe, let's put some shoelaces. So to make shoelaces, I'm gonna put like two of them. And all it is, is I'm just gonna put like, kind of like a, this little bump shape right there. If you can kind of see it right there. So it gives the illusion of some shoelaces. And I'll do the same thing right over in this side right there. All right. Take a second and look at your masterpiece right there. You've drawn some beautiful shoes. I know you did. All right. So now that we've got this all laid out, we have our hat, our head, our body, and our shoes. Let's start to build out where his legs and his tummy will be. So what I'm going to do for that, we're going to draw his belt. So the belt is going to be right in the middle there. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my pen. I'm gonna start on the left side here and I'm just gonna make like a smiley face. Right along the middle of Mr. Met right there. There we go. So you can kind of see that smiley face right there. So that's gonna be the belt. So again, this is gonna be his stomach and this will be where his feet are. So now let's make a belt buckle. So to make a belt buckle, that's the part where you tighten your pants with. I'm just gonna put a little rectangle right there. So that'll be Mr. Melt's belt buckle. And to make it look a little fancier, let's put another little baby rectangle right down there in the middle there. So you can kind of see what we're getting with right now. We had a little buckle there. Then for good measure, we're gonna draw another shape like we did with our shoelaces here. But we're gonna put it right here in the middle of our belt buckle. So I'll come in like that. All right. So the reason we drew that there is that this is basically the part of the belt that holds Mr. Met's pelt, uh, belt, pelt, belt up right there. All right. So now that we did that, we're going to draw another smiley face, but just at the top here to kind of meet with our belt buckle. So I'm going to come around, link to the top there, and do the same thing right there. There we go. So. You can kind of see our belt right here, but right now this works more as like a fashion accessory for Mr. Met. We want to add something that looks like he's holding his pants up. And those are like those little rivets in the jeans. I don't know what the name of those are. Any of my fashion viewers right now are probably screaming at me what the name of that is, but I apologize. But in order to make that little bit, we're just going to draw little rectangles. I'm going to put two on both sides of his belt. See what I'm talking about right there? Let me do the same thing over here. All right. Look at that belt. That's cool. All right. So now let's add his legs. And this is really easy. So all we're going to do is I'm just going to draw a line right in the middle right here. That's going to come down to the middle of his shoes. And what I mean by that, I'm going to come here. Boom. There we go. All right. I told you it would start to look like something, right? All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. So now that we have that, we're going to draw Mr. Met's arm. So that's gonna be this, we're gonna start with this part right up here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a sleeve. So to start at our sleeve, I'm gonna start with my pen right here on this part, basically right where the body meets the head of Mr. Met. And I'm just gonna take my pen and I'm gonna make another little smiley face Right there. So that's gonna be the top part of our sleeve. 
All right, now from there, I'm just gonna start at the left part right here. And I'm gonna bend it down just like that. So now you can see Mr. Med's arm is starting to go up. And then I'm also gonna add two little more smiley faces there for a little decoration. That's that like, that part of the jersey with that little stripe on there. All right, so let's draw that hand. So let's draw the hand. This all depends on how long you want Mr. Met's hand to be. So I'm gonna draw, start with my hand right about here. So to do that, I'm gonna draw another circle. There we go. So it's circle-ish right there. Again, do not worry if it's not perfect on there. All right, so now that this is gonna be the palm of our hand right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my fingers. So I'm gonna do my thumb. And Mr. Met, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but he only has four fingers on, on his glove there. I've noticed this is a lot with a lot of cartoon characters, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, so on. I don't know why that is, but it looks cool. So we'll keep with tradition. All right, so now that we have our fingers right there, again, they're just little sausages that we drew on top of that circle. We're just gonna make it look a little bit more like a hand. So you see where your, where your thumb is to your wrist? There's kind of like this bend right there. And that's just like the muscle that controls your thumb. So how I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to here where my thumb is. I'm just gonna draw this little arc, just like that. So now we kind of have this part of our thumb. And then for good measure, I'm just gonna draw another little arc, kind of like right there. So it kind of looks like the palm of Mr. Met. All right, we're almost there. So now, just to show that this is a glove and not so much a hand, I'm gonna add this other little smiley face or a little kind of like a bump right there at the bottom of his glove. So that's kind of like the part that rests right here. All right. So now we're just gonna connect the glove to the sleeve. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna take a line. There we go. All right, looking good. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Great. Now I recommend stopping right here at the top of Mr. Met's head. That way it looks like that his hand is behind his head to give it some sort of space to give Mr. Met a little bit more roundness with it. And then to make it look like he's waving, I'm just gonna put these little, little lines right there. You can put those wherever you want, but that makes it look like he's waving just like this, kind of going back and forth. All right, we're almost done with Mr. Med here, but before we get there, let's add another sleeve. So we're gonna do his other arm right over here. So again, like right about this point right here, like kind of right in the middle, I'm gonna draw another little arc, just like that. And now I'm gonna connect from his head to the bottom of his sleeve right here. So I'm gonna come down, but I'm not gonna fully connect my arc to this other little part of the sleeve right there. This way, again, we can give a little definition to his body so it looks like his sleeve is actually part of him rather than just flat. So just like our other sleeve, I'm gonna add that other little arc there for decoration purposes because Mr. Metz got the freshest gear. All right, cool. So now we're gonna put our hand right here and this hand here, it's gonna look like Mr. Met has his hand on his hip, just like this. So bear with me on this one. We'll do this step by step. So I'm gonna put my pen right here and I'm gonna write like this kind of shape. I'm gonna make three little bumps, just like that. You can see one, two, three. Then I'm gonna come around, make this little bit of an arc and then I'm gonna make one more bump, just like that. So you can see these are Mr. Met's three fingers, and there's his fourth finger right there. Almost looks like a Cheeto. <laughs> I don't know if they still look like that, but they did when I was a kid. All right, so we got our Mr. Met here right there. Now I'm just gonna put one line in. There we go. Now we put that line, because it looks like Mr. Met's uh, you know, fist, like the knuckles of his fist right there. All right, so now let's connect it. So I'm gonna come up here to the top of my sleeve. I'm gonna make a little arc to connect it right there. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Bend it just like that. So now you can see we got a Mr. Matt body right here. Excellent, everybody's doing so good right now. It's cool to see it kind of build up, right? 
All right, let's do what you all been waiting for. We're gonna make Mr. Met's face. Cool. So in order to start Mr. Met's face, I always start with the nose. The reason I put the nose in first is that way I can use that as a guide to where to put my eyes and my mouth and so forth. So basically with this, I'm gonna make, his nose is just a giant horseshoe. So what I do is I'm gonna find like a nice spot where I want it. So I'm gonna put my nose over on the right a little bit. And I'm gonna take my pen, pop it down. And there we go. We got our Mr. Met nose right there. Look at that. You can see it's kind of like a horseshoe or one of those like magnets that you see in the cartoons. Great. So now that we got our nose, let's put our eyes in. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna make a line that goes across just like this. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna draw a line. I'm gonna stop at the nose, come on the other side of the nose, and then continue the line right there. So this is the bottom part of Mr. Met's eyes. That's where, like where it rests right there. So now, just like we drew this shape here of this horseshoe or this magnet shape that we made, we're gonna do the same thing, but for the eyes, but we're just gonna tilt a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start with the left eye and I'm gonna come up. There we go. There's one of Mr. Met's eyes. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. But again, what I'm doing is I'm like following along with the space that I have available here. So I don't wanna go over the nose or too low on there. That way it looks like it's following that, that kind of a round shape of, his, of the baseball. All right, so now let's add his eyeballs. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna draw two little circles. You can put these wherever you want. But I'm just gonna put them down here so it looks like he's kind of looking at us. So that's my one eyeball right there. And then I'm just gonna draw one more little one in there too. So that'll be like his pupil. And then depending on what kind of color you have, I'm just gonna color this in. So you can see now that we have our Mr. Met eye. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye here, but I'm gonna do like half of a circle. And that's because Mr. Met's nose is right there. So what I mean by that, here's the nose. I'm gonna draw that other eye kind of in the same area, just like that. And then add that other little half circle in there for the pupil. So you can see it's hidden behind his nose there. And again, I'm just gonna fill that right on in. Great, so you can start to see our eyeballs right there, right? All right, so Mr. Met, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but he has these like funny little eyelashes right here on the side, kind of these little bumps right there. So I'm gonna add those in too. In order to do that, it's gonna find the side of our eye. I'm gonna come in just like that and do that on both of our eyes. Nothing too crazy, just this fun little, little bump on the side there. And then again, I'm just gonna fill that in. All right, and then the last thing for our eyes that we need, is gonna be a nice set of eyebrows. So in order to do that, basically gonna make two triangle shapes, but instead of having them cut off at the ends, I'm just gonna put little bumps. So I'm gonna come up like this. There's one eyebrow. And our other eyebrow. So you can see Mr. Mitch thinking the eyebrows up a little bit. And then again, I'm just gonna fill those in. All right, we're looking good. All you Mr. Mets are looking great. So now we're gonna add his mouth, which is the key feature to Mr. Met. Shows how he's happy, sad, indifferent, however you wanna feel. So let me show you how I do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the top part of his mouth. I'm gonna come right about here and just make like a little arch symbol, almost like a little smiley face on its own. So I'm gonna come up, put my pen down, bring it up, and there we go, have that little smile right there. So that's gonna be the top part of Mr. Met's mouth. So I'm just gonna put this little bump here too kind of round it off right there. Now I do this so it looks like Mr. Met's lip, you know, like the top part of your lip, like that, <laughs> right up there. All right, so now what we'll do is I'm gonna add these two, let me show you what I mean for it. I'm gonna add these two little lines right here. Just like that. Now the reason that I add these two lines here is this is like the side of Mr. Met's mouth. We have to imagine that in our drawing, his mouth is open and he's really smiling and you're seeing his tongue and his teeth and such. So you can just add those two little lines right there. 
And then I'm going to make the same shape at the top, but right down here at the bottom. So I'm going to take my pen right here. I'm going to come down. Just like that. So you can see Mr. Can you guys see that all right? There you go. Just like that. All right, we're almost done. And then I'm just going to add another little bend at the bottom like I did at the top. So it looks like the bottom part of his mouth. Great. So now what we're going to do, let's get his tongue in there. So his tongue, I'm just going to make like an, get a little, another little arch right there. So that little, that little arch that we just made or that little frowny face almost, that's going to be his tongue. And then I'm just going to color that in there. There we go. And then no mouth is complete on Mr. Met without a little little bump right there too. Now the reason I add that little bump right there is it's showing that Mr. Met's like pushing his cheek up. He's so excited, you know? So push his cheek right up there. All right, so we're looking pretty good. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the stitches on Mr. Met's head because he is a baseball after all. So in order to do that, we're going to draw like a basically another little snake like we did with the hat before. So I'm going to start on the left hand side. I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to grab a point, any point you want. I'm going to come down, make that little arch and continue right like that. So you see that shape right there? That's what we want it to look like. But again, feel free to make yours a little bit wavier if you want. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of his head. but just a little bit smaller there. So again, so it looks like it's the roundness of a ball. All right, so now we're gonna add the stitches into his head. And it's gonna look just like these guys right there. Let me put that a little closer. So they're basically like triangles going down. But it's gonna make them a little bolder so we can color it, so it'll be more fun when you color it. And I'm just gonna go down just like this, coming around and I start I do one side at a time. And I put a little space in between each one. That way it doesn't look so like busy overall. And then the same thing I did here, I'm just gonna do it on the other side, but just opposite. So if it's going this way, imagine it's in a mirror and it just flipped the opposite way. There we go. So we got our Mr. Med stitches right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but I'm gonna have them flip the opposite way. So you can see on this end, all of the stitches are going down and on this end, they're going to be going up. So again, just popping it up just like before. All right, there's your Mr. Met. Well, right now it's like a baseball guy. You know, you don't know who it's for exactly. But let's add a little logo on there. So what we'll do first is let's add our Mr. Met logo at the top right here, the New York Mets one. So in order to do that, we're just gonna draw the letter N. So I draw the N right at the top in the hat right there. And now we're gonna add that Y. So I think the best way to do this is I'm just gonna draw a line down in the middle of our N right there. And then I'm gonna have two little wings. They kind of bend a little bit for the letter Y. It's almost like a little mustache in the middle of that N. Now, if you've ever seen the Mets logo, if you looked at it really closely, there's these little feet at the top of all of the, of the letter of the N there. So I'm just gonna add these little, little feet, see these little pop, pop, right on either end of it. You can see, and there's our Mr. Met logo there. Now, when it comes to the jersey, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can draw like I have right here. You can kind of have this bubble letter in it. That's my favorite one to draw. And I'll be honest, that one's kind of hard to draw. So what I did is I showed, I wanted to show you a couple of different versions that you could do. So this is like, that first one that I have. It's kind of like a bubble letter font on it. You can write Mets out with just with your regular handwriting. If you know cursive, or if you remember that from when you were a kid, or if you haven't learned it yet, 
no worries. You can write it just out. Block letters, bubble letters. That's up to you. So I'll leave it up for a second so everyone can kind of look at it to get which one that they like the most. But I'm just going to draw mine in real quick. So how I do it is I'm just going to do that bubble letter. I come up. This part is really difficult to teach. If you find me at City Field, I'll sit with you and I'll teach you all game. That's a promise. <laughs> you can see, you can maybe slow it down if you're watching at home on the replay right now. There we go. We have these like block letters right there. And there you go. You have Mr. Met. Oh, silly me. I forgot one thing. So I just want to make it look more like a jersey. So I'm going to put like this line because your jersey buckles up like this, right? The players put it on. So what I do is I'm just going to put a little line, a little arch line right in the middle there to give that jersey look. And then another one at the top here, kind of bent right there. So it's looked like it's folded. And there you go. You just drew Mr. Met. So real quick, let's take a look. Everyone will hold it up to your screen. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks great. Good nose, good shoes. Everyone's doing pretty good. All right, so just for the sake of time, I would recommend when we're all done, you can color that. You can add whatever colors you want on there. You know, use your crayons, your markers, and so on, and you can add, get crazy with the look of it right there. Cool. So if everyone's still there, what I'll do now is I'll go through Mrs. Met. Now, Mrs. Met will be a little bit quicker just because it's the same thing as drawing Mr. Met, except we basically just have to draw a little hairdo on there. So let's get started. So I'm going to do the same thing that we did before with our hat, except I'm flipping it the other way this time. So that same shape, that little kind of like a little snake's shape that we made before. And then here, I'm going to come around and this is going to be the bottom part of her hat, of that brim of that hat. Coming up just like that. So now we have our brim. And I'm going to do our hat the same way with those little horseshoes coming down. Now I'm going to add that top part of the hat there. And I apologize if I'm going a little bit faster on this. I just want to make sure that uh, we keep everyone's attention there. And it's the same thing as before, really. So now we're going to draw Mrs. Met's hair. She's got a really cool hairdo. So I'm going to start with here, kind of using like the middle part of the brim of our hat there. And I'm going to make this like, kind of like a raindrop sign, that little bit right there. So that'll be the, the one part of her hair. Now over here, I'm going to start at the end of the bob brim of our hat. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make this little side, little line like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, but just a little bit smaller. Just like that right there. So now you can see this is going to be the side part of her hair. And I'm just going to connect it at the top. There we go. As you can start to see, we have our hat and our hairdo. All right, so now I'm going to draw a circle to make Mrs. Met's head. So I'm going to start on this part of our hairdo right there. I'm going to come around. Whoa, baby, look at that. She's looking good. So now we got our hat, our hairdo, and our, our face right here. But no Mrs. Met is finished without a ponytail. So do a ponytail, I'm going to draw it right here. I'm going to make like a swirl. So I'm going to put my pen down. You can see a little bit. I'm going to make a swirl. I'm going to come up, down and around, just like that. So now we have our ponytail on it. So we're going to move on to the bottom, to her body, just like we did before with Mr. Met, except I'm going to make the lines a little bit closer together so she's a little taller and a little skinnier than our plump Mr. Met we drew before. So I'll make my lines of like about here and here. 
So I'm gonna start on the left. I'm gonna come down, make my line right there. And then the same thing on the other side here. All right, so there's our Mr. Mipati, Mrs. Mipati, like we did before. And we're gonna draw those heart shapes again for the shoes. So we're gonna come down. Just like that. And don't worry if you mess up like I just did now. When you color it in, you won't even see that. And we're gonna do the same thing. There we go, so we got our new shoes. And like before, I'm gonna add those two little sausage shapes to make our shoelaces. And then add that bump at the bottom to get the sole of our shoes. There we go, we're getting something. All right, so just like before, we're gonna make our belt, find the middle of Mrs. Met's body, make that smiley face down, just like that. I'm gonna add that belt buckle like before, with our little rectangle on the inside. And then that little bit of that latch for the belt right there. Once you have that in, we're gonna do the same thing at the top. Then we're gonna add those parts, those little rectangles there. Just like we did with Mr. Met before to make it look like his pants are being held up. Excellent. And then here in the bottom, I'm just gonna add a line. Whoa, baby, there we go. So now we have our legs. I made one leg a little bigger, but that's cool. <laughs> do whatever we want. <laughs> All right, so now we're almost there. Let's add our hands. So we're gonna do, so her hands, how we designed it, they're like up in the air a little bit and she's waving. She's so excited, wants to catch a free t-shirt or something. So to make our sleeves, I'm gonna make two little smiley faces on both sides of our Mr. Met, Mrs. Met, excuse me, right there. And I'm just gonna have them start and end like right where her head meets her shoulders. And then once we have that, again, I'm gonna make that little bit of a loop on both sides there to give it the illusion of some sleeves. And then of course, we're gonna add that little decoration down there again. This will be more fun when you color, you'll have a little bit more space. Great, so now we have both of our sleeves right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add her hands. So I'm gonna pick up a spot. I'm gonna add two circles, like one here and one here. So I'm just gonna put a circle right here. Then another one right here. So those are the palms of her hands again, just like that. And I'm gonna add those other four fingers. We have our thumb and then our three other fingers. Apologize for my freckly arm right there. I'll get that out the way. There we go. Looking good. All right. And then again, just like we did before with this part of your hand where that muscle is, I'm going to add that right here. So I'm going to come in the thumb and just make this little curve. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Then I'm going to make it like a little bit of a Y at the top there. So again, you can kind of see the lines in the hand. Makes more of a more exciting drawing. And then at the bottom, just like we did with our gloves before Mr. Met, we're gonna add that smiley face on the bottom. Just like there on the bottom. Excellent. Like before, I know I keep saying that, but like before with Mr. Met, they're very similar. We're just gonna add a line and you're gonna connect our hand, our glove to our sleeve. But again, we're gonna remember to stop at the baseball head there. So it looks like her hands are behind her head. There we go. So I'm going to stop right behind the hairdo there. All right. Look how excited she is. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to add those little wavy lines again. This looks like she's like super excited. Like, give it to me. Give me that free t-shirt. All right. So that's kind of like our look right in there. So just like Mr. Met's face, Mrs. Met's face is pretty similar. Except we're just gonna, the difference is gonna be our eyelashes and that little bit of a lipstick. So we'll, we'll knock this out real quick. So same thing as before, we're just doing the same nose, that same horseshoe shape, 
but opposite. So I'm going to come down just like that. Let's see that kind of a nose shape right there. I like to make the nose look like this because it looks like it's like popping out. It gives it a fun little feature. And just like we did our eyes before, I'm just going to build a line right across. And this will be the bottom part of her eyes. And again, I'm going to stop and make it look like they're coming behind her eyes. So her eyes, again, just like Mr. Met and just like our nose, I'm going to come up and make like a rainbow shape. Down both sides. So we got our Mrs. Met little rainbow eyes right there. And then I like to add this. We're going to add these three little lines right there. And I'm going to add that on both sides of her eyes to give her like some, you know, classic looking cartoon eyebrows. And just like we did with Mr. Matt, we're going to draw his eyeballs right now. I'm going to have mine down in the bottom corner. So it looks like she's looking down. Put one circle and then a smaller circle in there. And I'm going to fill that all in. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now again, remember, just like Mr. Matt, there's going to be like a half circle. And that's because it's like hidden behind the eye. Excuse me, the nose. Goodness me. And then I'm just going to color that right on in there. Oh, baby, look at that. Looking great, right? All right. Let's add some eyebrows. Just like before I, we did with Mrs. Met or Mr. Met, I make mine a little bit thinner. So something like that. So you can see a little closer there. There we go. That was more difficult than I thought. <laughs> we'll take that and do the same thing over on this side here. And then I'm just going to color it in. That's what's fun with that too, because this one went over and just coloring that right over. So our Mrs. Met mouth, same thing. I'm just going to draw that smiley face coming up. Just like that. I'm going to add that little bump on the side to be at the top part of her lip. Then I'm going to add these two little curved lines on the side again, like we did with Mr. Met. So it looks like the, the side of her mouth. And come across again. Up. And then put that little bend on the side there to make it the bottom part. So then our tongue again is just another little rainbow shape. A little frowny mouth right there. And then I'm just going to fill that in with my color. I'm using black, but you could you could use any color that you want here. I just like the way that this brush pen looks with the ink. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add some lipstick on Mrs. Met, some lips. So this, I'm just going to draw like that McDonald's arch again, or like a bird flying in the sky. There we go. And then another little smiley face at the bottom there. So you can see when you color this in, you can color this a little different color, maybe like cool red or something like that. And then I'm going to put that little arch at the top of her, cheek, her jaw right there for a smile to get that looks like it's pumping her cheek up. Then like we did before, we're going to add our stitches. We're going to have that wavy line again. Do that on both sides. And again, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast on this, but it's the same thing that we did with Mr. Met there. Just on both sides there. And then I'm going to add the stitches. So when you get really good at this, you can kind of lace through this. But for me, take my time a little bit. So I'm making like my arrows going up on both sides. And then on the on this part here, we have my arrows going down. Just gonna finish it up there. Then I'm gonna add my NY at the top. There you go. You drew Mrs. Met right there. So I'm just gonna throw this in just so you can see a different version of how you could write Mets in the bottom there. And add that part of the sleeve. All right, let's see him hold him up. Let's take a look. Excellent. Nice work, everybody. So today, even though it's raining out and we're stuck inside, no need to worry because we now have two best friends in our life. We have Mr. Met 
and misses them. And again, when you're ready, when you're when we're all done here, grab some crayons, grab some markers, color it up, make it any color style you want, and have a real good time with it. So, so I've. I'm so glad that you guys came through and thanks for spending some time with me. I would really love to see your finished drawings on there. So the best way to do that is you can tag me. I'm on Instagram at Herm Herman or on Twitter at Herm's Terms. Instagram is the best way to get me though. And please tag the seven line too. That way we can kind of look at all of them together and we can, sh and I'm, I will post and share everybody's picture that they sent and drew my way. And then also, uh, Darren and the Seven Line, they're having a little little contest. So some, we'll pick a couple of our favorite drawings and color contests and things. And we're going to give some Seven Line gift certificates overall. But you guys are awesome. And if you get bored, feel free. You can go on my website and I have a little cartoon, a little coloring page that you guys can color if you want to practice a little bit more. You can download that for free. But other than that, you guys are better than best. You did a great job. I'm so glad I got to meet you and thanks so much for spending some time with me and I hope we can do some more of these in the future.